Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel I'm Bushkin. Today's video is about this wee little beastie, the Kampfpanzer 50T. We're just going to call it the 50T from here on in. Uh, this is a little blue collector's tank I picked up in the, whatever the event is with the snow globes, the Yuletide thing. You know the one where you put heaps of cash in one end and a tank pops out the other. Uh, we don't want to know how the sausage is made. We just want to know that we get a tank. And this is one of the tanks I got out of that. And I'm going to do a, a series of um, videos on these tanks because I've uh, not played them before and it's been really fun for me to run them. This tank looked pretty sexy, I thought. It looked really different. In a, and that for me is quite a cool thing. Um, and I thought I'd give it a run, but I wasn't very good in it at all. In fact, I was getting destroyed in it at first. And I'll Get to why that was it was my fault user error but i had a few preconceptions when i looked at the in-game stats which is a bit silly considering how many reviews i've done uh anyway my my whole concept was this that i looked at it and i thought well it's got massive dpm uh it's got a relatively strong turret looks like a strong turret here and it's got eight degrees of gun, gun depression it's like a 62a with about a degree more gun depression and it's five kilometers faster. So that's how I went and tried to play it. And I got burnt. I fooled around and found out, boys and girls, because the stats are great, but the devil is in the detail. And one of the things that is really evident when you play the 62A is that it is nimble and it's agile and it accelerates and moves around the map very, very efficiently. Now, this is by no means a tubby tank. This is a tank that can be relatively quick around the map, but it doesn't have the horsepower to weight ratio that the 62A does. On paper, it's 19.94 power to weight ratio is right up there alongside most of the other T10 mediums. For instance, the 62A has a 19.52 power to weight ratio, horsepower per ton. But when you put the terrain resistance numbers in, this thing gets belted because its terrain resistance numbers are really, really bad. Uh, so it's 1, 1.1 on medium terrain and 1.5 on soft terrain. The 62A is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0 0.9. So you end up with a tank that is actually a lot slower on paper than it is uh, a lot slower in game than it is on paper. The effective hit points per ton on this is 19.9. The effective hit points per ton on the 60A to A is 39. Okay? That the 62A goes up from 19.5 to 39. This one stays exactly the same at 19.9. So then I went and looked at the tanks side by side, and uh, she's a chunky monkey compared to the 62A. And most tanks are. The 62A is the typically super low profile Russian tank um, and not super wide. You can see the difference in the turret. 62A is definitely lower to the ground. Uh, and that's another reason why I was taking more damage than I should have. And when I was taking damage, wasn't so much in the peaks and the shots and the brawls. It was in the disengagements where I would want to turn and run. I'd be a second too late. I'd get tracked. I'd get bullied. No fun. If you look at the bottom right corner there, you'll see the armor profile of this tank. And that's pretty impressive. That's versus a 62A. Um, you've got about 300, 300 plus millimeters on all those spots that are red there. But there's weak points. There's huge weak points. It doesn't really have a gun mantlet. It's, it's a beautiful little blend, I think, because it's like Wargaming has said, great, you can have good, strong armor, but it's not armor everywhere. It's armor where you're going to have to wiggle your turret. You're going to have to move backwards and forwards. And while it's strong, it's not impervious. It's not like you're driving the medium version of a Type 71. Once I got to grips with the fact that it was slightly slower and you needed to plan a little bit further ahead and be a little more methodical with your gameplay, the PZ-50T started to really shine for me and there has been no end of joy in it now i still am not doing it justice you know it's it's not there yet um i mean my win rate in it was atrocious it was like 30 percent in the first 30 games 
and it was maybe, I don't know, 1,500 average damage, which is atrocious, right? But then I've, I've dragged that up to about 50% and 2,000 average damage, and it's climbing precipitously because what I'm finding is that what it does do very, very well is damage. Uh, its DPM is insane. Now, I remember I watched Meezy's video when I first got this because I always watch Daz's videos to find out what's up. And um, it it was the highest DPM tank in the game. And I don't know if anything's changed with that, but it's slightly under the Leopard 1 by my accounting now, by about 100 DPM. But at the same time, it's got a lot of armor and it's got a lot of DPM. 3,677 is a lot of DPM. About 1,500 meters per second is your shell velocity. And it's got eight degrees of gun depression which is really, really good uh, for a tank with this much DPM. And that gave me so much joy and so much fun with it. What I found also is while it does have good dispersion at 0 0.308, um, I, I just, I think the game has changed so much that I'm missing a lot of shots. There are just a lot more targets out there now with big chunks of armor, like particularly, um, and, I, and I'm not using enough heat in my gameplay. Like I am so often not using heat. I was always, always like, I'm not going to use the heat. I'm not going to use the heat. I'm not going to use the heat. But nowadays I'm starting to learn that, you know, you've got type 71s, you've got your Mintaros and all your Italian TDs, your 60 TPs. You just got to reach for the heat button. I mean, the Super Conqueror is like, are you freaking serious, that thing? Um, it's great when I play it, though, on the press account. Uh, anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna finish this off by showing you a platoon replay of me and Ouija running a big game on Middleburg and having a great time with this tank and really really using it to its potential. And I, I think it's a great tank and something that if you're looking for a blue tank and you want to set a goal to one day get, this is a great one to aim for because it's very different. It's got just enough of its own little secrets to, to work for you. And it's it's all round a good guy. Anyway, enjoy this. Remember to like the videos and subscribe. And I really think you're going to love this game. Take it away, Bushka and Ouija. Good. It's a couple of uh, these right Comes a Leo. Concept one B is here. Mate, like, fuck off. Oh, uh, what's that type seventy one doing? No, don't do it. Uh, even worse, what the fuck is this 263 doing? Like, what's he gonna do? The 183 as well. Where's the 183? Oh dear. Oh dear. This is gonna go south, my friend. Yep, they're gonna, they're gonna get stuck into this. Type seven one. So I'm going to come and help you. No push, but they will die. Uh, e one hundred. I'm not sure what these people are doing anywhere. I'm absolutely framing this FV just quietly. How's the rest of the thing going over here? Not as good as uh, could be expected, really. I'm going to go kill this FV, mate. Nothing else I can do. I think he's moved, dude. 
Leopard's coming towards you. I'm going to try and clear the leopard just for fun before it all goes shit-faced. Oh, Sherry. If you can. I'm uh, in one hundred. Are you, uh, I'm going towards it. Crack. Tr crack trit. Crack crit. Uh, reload. Reload. Not reloading and have highest DPM and medium in game. Just fine. All good in the hood here. Let me sit. Relay again. Yep. Do you want to drip back to the next hill? Yeah, I'm not. I, I think we'll bleed out if we do that. I don't know how many hit points the concept has. Do you? It's pretty high, mate. The 100 is the one who is in trouble. Yeah. I reckon I can go Just under him six. and around. And then yeah, we can do maybe it. get a fire across. Spotting that hill. Found him. Just spotting him, not doing anything crazy. He doesn't know where you are. I don't know where the concept around. is. I'm moving again. Me. Concept's got to be near me, doesn't he? There he is. They're both looking at me. One hundred time. Oh, track crit. Reloading. Reloading. Struggling away. Got it. Going low. Yep. I'll just keep him lit. He's coming towards me. Yep. Nice. 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 Gee, Fucking mate. great work, mate. <laughs> GG's to us, baby. Oh, carrying, carrying, no, carrying. <laughs> Ringing it back. Oh. Four K peaks. Did you get a mastery out of that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not in the BC. Just uh, the first class. I got it. That's class. Oh, I got it. 1380 is enough. All right, they wouldn't have been happy Fucking, with that. He's quacking me, the crank guy. He was not happy. Lol. Which is the crank guy, Sheesh Destroyer? And he went under. Or, yeah, he sent him yeah. a quack. <laughs> what, well, what do we send him back? Give him a, him a double thumb. quack. Quack yep. him. <laughs> quack him. Uh, all right, well, I've got to go and... Um, take my mum to the her like doctor's appointment i'll be back this yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, i mean we, despite all that not getting a lot of great games out we still did all right we won yeah one two three four five out of seven uh, or something like it. that yeah, yeah.